An ideal gas, initially at 20 degrees Celsius in one atmosphere, is compressed from 3 liters to 1 liter of volume while its temperature increases to 40 degrees Celsius. A. Find the final pressure of the gas. B. The piston and handle are very light. The area of the piston is 0.02 meters squared. Find the force F required to keep the frictionless piston in place in order to keep the volume at 1 liter. For part A, we can use the PV equals to nRT, the ideal gas law. Because it's a closed system, so the number of moles doesn't change. The gas constant, R, is of course a constant. So P times V over T equals to N times R, which is a constant. Because both N and R are staying the same. So we can say P1V1 over T1 equals to P2V2 over T2. So let's see. Before, the pressure is uh, one atmosphere. After, we don't know the P2, we're looking for it. It's okay for me to keep this in atmospheres. I just have to remember when I find P2, it is also going to be in atmospheres. The volume used to be 3 liters, now it's uh, 1 liter. Same unit, so it's okay. The temperature, though, we cannot just use the degrees Celsius and degrees Celsius. When we use the ideal gas law, the temperature must be in kelvins. So we have to change 20 degrees Celsius to 273 plus 20 kelvin, and uh, 40 degrees Celsius to 73 plus 40. And then we can cross multiply, and we'll find P2 to be 3.2 atmospheres. For part B, this pressure is higher than the atmospheric pressure, so it requires a force to keep the piston in place. The force required is the force that has to overcome the force produced by the pressure difference, because higher pressure inside, lower pressure out here, so the pressure difference pushes on the piston upward, and uh, this force has to overcome that force produced by the pressure difference, and the force will be pressure difference times the area. The pressure difference uh, between the inside and outside is uh, 3.2 atmospheres. If the problem doesn't say, we will use uh, one atmosphere, the standard value for the atmospheric pressure. So pressure difference is 3.2 minus one atmospheres. But if I want my force to be in Newtons, the standard unit, I'll have to use uh, Pascals for the pressure. That means uh, I have to multiply by 10 to the fifth Pascals for every atmosphere. The area for the piston is 0.02. So this will give me 4,400 newtons. This is a very big force to keep the piston in place.